I haven't done one of these in a while, but I love taking a framework and just like making a video out of it. And today I wanted to highlight one specific framework called Modals by Sam McGarry. Now the reason I want to highlight it is because I've been using it a lot recently, and I've been using it because Modals is like a customizable sheet that stacks on one another, and it works on iOS 15. And so you can also adjust like the, the height of the sheet and everything like that, which you can't do pre iOS 16. And so this is the framework right here. I'll leave it in the description down below if you wanna check it out for yourself. But the setup for this is really simple. All you need to do is file, you import your packages, and then from here, you're just gonna paste in the GitHub URL. And then once you have the package, you can say import modals. And then from here, you just say modal stack view and put it right over your content view inside of your window group so that it's above the entire hierarchy of the application so you can use it anywhere. And now if we wanna use this, all you need to do is say at state var presented colon bool will be equal to false. And then I have a view here with a button that just says self dot presented and then we can say dot toggle. Now to present the modal, all you need to say is import modals and then we say dot modal is presented and then there's a few customizations and we'll go over each one of those but we'll say self that is presented and then we can put inside of here let's just put our content view and this is what it is at its basic state so you can see i have this button i click on it and that's what the basic modal looks like now something to note that he did that i think is pretty cool but take it or leave it and i think a lot of this comes down to you probably forking the branch and just customizing it to how you actually want it to look. Um, but if you say, you know, we have a background which is colored up blue or something like that, you'll notice that as I click on the button that it'll actually grayscale the stuff. If I could find this button, I forgot that it was blue button, uh, but it'll actually grayscale the stuff behind it which I think is pretty cool. However, that's unimportant, but that's just something I wanted to note. Now, something to know here is if you say size, uh, you can choose from any of these. So fraction, height, large, medium, small. So if we say height and we set it to like 200, it'll make it so that the modal is a height of 200 points. Uh, so hit modal, it'll be 200 points. And a cool thing about this is since we're doing content view over and over again, you'll see this is how that interaction looks. They kind of stack on one another and they can swipe down away you can click on the X or you can click away as well while we're on the subject of the size this is something that I don't think is necessarily recommended by Sam however you can say dot fraction make it 1.0 and that'll make it so this is essentially like a full screen sheet uh, which you can actually just swipe away now like I said something to know here is it's a little Janky. So one thing you'll notice is there's like this slight gap here. However, I think that's only because this content view doesn't fill up the entire screen. So if I actually say color.green instead of the content view, it should actually fill up the entire view. So if we go modal, it fills it up completely. Um, so this is like one of those things like you could potentially use it for this where it's like a full screen sheet and you can like swipe down on it. Um, again, you'll have to mess around with like the actual repository itself and fork it. And this X mark is very, you know, ugly. So you would want to remove that. Now, another thing to look at here is we have options. So this options has two things, which are basically fixes for some problems. So prefers drag handle is one of them. So instead of having, you know, the X mark in the right hand corner, we actually have this drag handle and there's a subtle animation to it. And then the other thing is you can say disable content dragging. Now this is important if you're going to have a scroll view inside of here. So the reason I say that is let's say we have a scroll view. You will notice this little glitch look. It like kind of glitches. So in order to avoid that like glitch that happens, that's where disable content dragging comes in where it's not fighting between the scroll view and wondering if it should like dismiss it. So instead it's actually just saying forget the dismiss where you can like dismiss by swiping anywhere. We're only going to allow the scroll view and therefore only the top section itself is swipeable or swiped away. So that's the part that says disable content dragging. In any case, I think that's like the quick little demo on how modals works. I think it's pretty cool. So check it out in the link description, link in the description down below. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye.